The Senate has decided to have 30% of the profits from the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation set aside for the search and exploration of crude oil in the north of the country. This is part of the recommendations captured in the Petroleum Industry Bill presented by the Joint Committee on Petroleum Downstream, Upstream and Gas. In February last year, the Minister of State for Petroleum, Timipri Silva, announced the discovery of a billion barrels of oil in northeastern Nigeria. The oil is yet undrilled, but the Senate is seeking to set money aside so that the search for the black gold in the wider northern region can continue. At plenary, the 54-member Joint Committee on Petroleum Downstream, Upstream and Gas recommended the setting aside of 30% of NNPC's accrued profits towards the search and exploration of crude oil in the northern parts of the country. The committee's chairman, Senator Mohamed Sabu, says this will enable the country to take advantage of threats to the funding of fossil fuel projects. The Joint Committee's Recommendation recognizes the need for the country to urgently and aggressively explore and develop the country's frontier basins to take advantage of foreseeable threats to the funding of fossil fuel projects across the world due to speedy shifts from fossil fuel to other alternative energy sources. To this end, the committee recommends funding mechanism of 30% of NNPC limited share profit and profit gas as in the production share and profit and the risk service contract to fund exploitation of the frontier business. A total of 110 amendments are recommend, uh, were recommended to this chapter, while others were retained. The Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ovie Omoagege, on his part is asking that Niger Delta communities be given up to 10% equity shareholding in oil facilities. He also wants the money paid as penalty for gas flaring to be used for the rehabilitation of host communities. This bill, as originally conceived, provided only 2.5% contribution by settler companies to the host community trust fund. Mr. President, you will recall that this is not the first experiment or first attempt. I recall under the, even under President Yeradwa, the contribution proposed under the PIB during the year at that time was about 10%, Mr. President. 10%, it went to 8%. So our people were taken aback when we saw only 2.5% in this bill. But because of your leadership, the leadership of the Senate leader, Mr. President, they've been able to move this up to 5% contribution by state law uh, companies into the host community trust fund. Some experts believe that the Petroleum Industry Bill, when passed into law, will attract capital investment to the oil industry. They also say it will strengthen accountability and transparency. But there are skeptics. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.